people talking junk about me and looking at me crazy and oh you're just that third you're a hoe or whatever like some thirsty comments like the comments have to be super thirsty Dices on the beat. guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and make sure if you are new that you like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and all the other good stuff but i'm pretty sure by the title of this video you guys know what we're doing we're doing another only fans video period let's get these coins so today i'm doing a tips and tricks video i wrote down a few things that I felt like would help a lot of people who are you know either thinking about signing up on OnlyFans, fans which if you are my referral link is down in the description box. If you sign up through that link, I will help you guys kind of like get started and also give you free promotion on my social medias and on my actual OnlyFans if you sign up through that link. But just to help guys, help you guys that are new to OnlyFans or that are kind of like stagnant and need a little help to, you know, get things rolling. I got a few tips and tricks. So enough with the long intros. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into these tips. Alright, so like I said, I'm looking at this notebook. So my first tip for you guys is, number one, before you start promoting your OnlyFans, post like a few things up there first. Because I wouldn't, I honestly would not subscribe to someone's OnlyFans if they, they had no pictures or just one picture. I honestly wouldn't, which if you do not know, I actually do subscribe to people OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I really do. So... I, that's why I know that for a fact like I would not subscribe to someone's OnlyFans if they only had one to two pictures up there Kind of have a few more pictures, you know, just to let people know that they're subscribed to something Not just you promoting and then they subscribe and it be a month before you post something So kind of have something up there And then my second tip, which I don't think a lot of people know this and this is big Because when people get onto your OnlyFans, they can see how many posts you have and how many likes you have which can kind of sway people to want to, you know, get on your thing. Like, if your OnlyFans have five pictures and you got 100 likes, they're going to be more likely to subscribe. So, when you post a picture, you should be the first one liking that picture. Period. They can't see that you like the number one, which I don't know. I think they can. But I like my pictures. I like every last one of my pictures. I like my picture. If I post a picture, I'm the first one they like. Because then also in my head, I feel like when somebody else sees somebody like that picture, they're going to be more entitled to like the picture. People, we're, we're in a society of follow the leader people or monkey see, monkey do. So if you like your pictures first, the next person that see your picture, they're going to be more inclined to like. So make sure that you're liking all your pictures. Oh yeah, and then number, number three, my third tip is getting kind of into like your promotion. But I said this in, I think, either my first or second video. Do not post your OnlyFans link directly on Snapchat. On Snapchat, I would say the only place I will post it directly is on Twitter. Because Twitter, at this point, don't care what you do. <laughs> they really don't. People, people post everything on Twitter. So Twitter don't really care. But like on Instagram, you can get, I think it's something called like Ghosted or something where Instagram kind of feel like you're a adult content type of um Instagram page so they won't really push your page that much for that simple fact and Snapchat will just plain out delete you <laughs> they will lock you out of your account if they get whiffed of what you're doing so do not post your direct link on there do not post your direct link on these social medias which leads me into my next tip which is to create a link tree um a link tree is basically a link that when you click on it it takes you to other links so like on my link tree for my personal self it is my OnlyFans and my YouTube channel which I need to put my Instagram and stuff in there but I have my OnlyFans and my YouTube channel on my business link tree I have to edit it because I still have it in there but on my business link tree I actually have my business website my YouTube on my TikTok because I post some business stuff on TikTok wherever I post some things about my business I have it on my business link tree I also have my OnlyFans up there I just haven't worked to edit it yet but yeah so definitely create a link tree because I can post my link tree on Snapchat because Snapchat just sees it as a link tree app I mean as a link tree link and not as a OnlyFans link where they'll see it and then delete your Snapchat so definitely create a link tree for your OnlyFans five is different places to promote I personally promote on Instagram my Snapchat my YouTube I sometimes post it on Facebook but not that much because I have like direct family on Facebook so I don't post what I post on Snapchat, Instagram to promote, but I do post some things on there. But another place that a lot of people say that you can promote, which I haven't personally tried yet, is dating apps. So if you decide to promote on dating apps, I would highly recommend that you look up somebody else's video who has done dating apps to get more insight on that from them because I personally 
don't promote on dating apps but i i'm thinking about trying it i just don't know yet but i've been told and i also seen in a video that dating apps <laughs> that dating app work great as well my sixth tip which goes back into promoting which i i recommend but i mean it's kind of like a hit or a miss kind of what you do but one great thing that i do is when i promote my own fans i always have a sale running so either i'm having it like 30 percent 40 percent maybe sometimes 50 percent but half the time i always have a sale like i think currently mine is like 35 percent off at the moment but it's just when you catch it you never know and then sometimes i do free um free trial links i'll be like the first 10 people you know get a free trial for like three days i would not do a free month i do i think the max i've ever done is a week because i feel like half the time when you do a free trial link you get people who want it for free gonna stay for that week and then leave like they're not gonna spend no money when you send them you know anything that they have to pay for they're not gonna pay for it they're just gonna stay for that month to give something for free and then leave but to go along with that one thing that i started doing which i feel like works which is pretty good i follow a few people on um only fans it's for research purposes it's whatever but i do have them on only fans and what i do is if people comment like not just like oh that's pretty on you or I like this outfit or whatever like some thirsty comments like the comments have to be super thirsty if they make some thirsty comments I will go to their page and I will send them a free link like a free trial link for like three days and as soon as they accept it I like spam them with pay-per-view stuff a bunch of stuff and half the time if they like if they buy it and they like it then I know when they three days are up they're gonna actually pay my subscription fee to stay and if they don't pay anything it's just three days they get to see something for three days and then they're out so that's kind of like what I do which I would recommend um like a person I follow that's actually free is Suki if you want to get on Suki's um fans only fans hers is free and she posts content that you have to unlock but she's big so of course she's gonna have people that's just commenting crazy stuff on her stuff so I literally will go through her comments and I will click through people's accounts and the thirstier they look I'm gonna be clicking them the fastest to give them a free trial link and then after a while you can't do no more free trial links you have to send them a promotion so I would definitely look into that it worked for me and another thing to go into that tip that i've also done to help with promotion and stuff i go through my social media messages the thirstier the person is in my messages i will send them my link i don't send them a free link but i would just send them my link in general like check out my only fans with the kissy face like i said in my other video some people just want a, a fantasy with you like they know they're not gonna talk to you they know they're not gonna be able to see you in person and they're not getting nothing from you for real so they'll be quick to subscribe because they know that you're going to talk to them up there they get to see you and all other good stuff so just try it out when you ain't got nothing to do just scroll through your your messages and look at the people that you don't be replying to that stay messaging you and send them your only fans link the worst thing they can do is tell you oh i don't do only fans they be lying but anyway and then my seventh tip is to build relationships with your fans that spend money number one so if, like if you have a fan that every time you send something to them they pay for it they like all your pictures all the other stuff like you know kind of talk to them don't make it where like i have to talk all day every day no because you have to do other stuff but like you know build a relationship with them talk to them see what they like give them some attention like you gonna have guys that spend ten dollars and think that you owe them everything in the world ignore them but the ones that spend like good money like good money not no ten dollars here and there but you know when you send out content they spending like a hundred dollars a week whatever maybe even fifty dollars a week like the ones that spend more money on you are the ones that you focus on you make sure that they're good because they're more likely to buy your content versus the people who ignore you but message you talking about they want you they want to meet up with you or the other mess ignore them <laughs> ignore them you want to pay attention to the ones who are spending money who's putting money in your hands before they say something stupid to you <laughs> pay attention to the money to the people that spends money the people who don't spend money ignore them like your life depends on it <laughs> or either just tell them you spend no money so there's no there's nothing to talk about period right so be in relationships with the people who spend money with you because the better your relationship the more likely they are to continue to spend money build genuine relationships with people who actually spend money with you because the better relationship the easier it is for them to like give you money because they feel like they're not gonna give you money and get nothing in return a lot of these guys are spending money with you because they want your attention you're a pretty girl they want your attention so this is a tip if you guys are trying to get tips on OnlyFans which personally again I don't do that because I don't really worry about tips like that because I send my I make my money through my paper my messages my paper my PPV 
so I really don't care too much about tips. But if you want tips, like if your OnlyFans is free or like you have a low OnlyFans price, I would definitely recommend you to put somewhere in your caption, say something cute, something cute and sexy, something to get their attention. And then at the end of it, put down their, you know, tippers, get a special, you know, get something special in their, their DMs. Or you can even say big t the bigger the tilt, the bigger the surprise. Something about getting a good tilt. So when you post a picture, like post something that's kind of like, like if you're taking a picture in some lingerie where you can see, you know, your nipples or maybe like just something that's kind of a little more risque than what you post. Cover it up with like a sensor or something and be like something cute and then tips get the uncensored version in the DM. Or even you could say like a $10 tip gets you this picture in your DMs without, you know, uncensored something like that so that way when you post something and they read it they can be like oh this is a nice picture i want to see it without the sensor on it so i'm gonna tip x amount so that i can see it and you can like i said put in there the bigger the tip the bigger the surprise whatever whatever so if you're looking to get more tips i always say a closed mouth don't get fed so if you are looking to get more tips tell them you want tips <laughs> and also tell them that they're going to get something so they give a little you give a little so again if you want tips just ask for me this to be honest my ninth tip which i keep talking about is the money is in the ppv honestly i think now with my money half of my money is from my subscriptions and half of my money is from my messages and a lot of people some people be like they post they send ppv like once a week or whatever i send man i'll probably say the minimum about two to three times a week minimum i mean i feel like for me which i have been told that I am on the more pricier side of, you know, only fans, like females are only fans. And I just feel like, know your worth. <laughs> like I know that, which is, it's sad to say, cause I tell dudes this all the time. This That's the first thing I always hear. Oh, I just love chocolate women. I have dark skins on my type. Blah, blah, blah. So I know that my skin tone, number one, like I'm in demand. They love them a pretty dark. That's number one. Number two, I just feel like I'm not about to be up here. People talking junk about me and looking at me crazy and oh, you're just that third, you're a whole, whatever. And I'm charging you five dollars. <laughs> no, like no. Oh. So that's another thing. Like my price is gonna be high. Cause what I gotta go through to get this money. Number like number two. And then number three, I just I can't. Like I feel like if I'm up here and I'm about this is fast money is is not money that lasts long. So I'm gonna get what I can get, and it is what it is. So definitely. You know, know your worth, add a little tag, and then charge these, charge these men. <laughs> and if they can't pay it, if they can't pay it, don't sit down and listen to them like, oh, you're too high, you need to come down, da da da, da. no. If you want to see what's up, what's behind this lock symbol, either pay it or move along, because it is what it is. So, like I said, the money is in the PPV, just know your worth, know what you want to send. You do not have to listen to all the people that say they send it once a week. You can if you want to, but I ain't doing that. I done sent PPV twice in a day. Back to back. No, actually three times. So I posted PPV three times back to back in the same day. Just know where your money at. Your money is either in your tips or your messages. Make sure you are doing them miss your PPV. Get your money. My 10th tip, which I've, I've ran out with that one, but invest in yourself. And when I say invest in yourself, I mean like get some cute little outfits, some cute lingerie, like... You know, get just make sure that your hair done, your nails done, your toes done. Um, I'm kind of lacking in the toes done department right now, but I'm just I don't feel like going to get my toes done. But make sure that you know you keep your nails done. Try to keep your toes done, cause some people really do have like feet fetish and they will pay. If you have like nice feet, they will pay to see your feet. Try to have your hair done. You don't have to have weave and stuff like that, but just try to look fresh. Makeup wise, I don't really do my makeup that much. I don't even really put lashes on like that to go up there. Um, Honestly, I just went and got my eyebrows done. I was up there for a long time without my eyebrows done. But I do recommend, you know, kind of keeping yourself up, have new outfits, because they don't get tired of seeing you in the same black bra and panties. <laughs> Like just get some nice things. You don't have to go crazy, but try to get like maybe a few different outfits just to change it up. Maybe get your hair, you know, get you a two weeks, switch it up. You know, just give them something new and fresh. So definitely invest in yourself. And then that goes into my 11th and last tip, which is to also put away money for tax. If you do not know, OnlyFans will go on your taxes and they will see how much money that you brought in on the OnlyFans platform and they will tax. The government wants their money regardless. So make sure that you're putting some money aside i personally put aside 30 percent because i rather have too much than too little when it comes time to pay my taxes and also when you buy things for only fans try to keep your receipts because you can use that to try to take off what you have to pay back because that's what you that's what you invested in your business to you know be whatever so definitely save your money so at that point you're going to be able to play with 50 percent of your money because only fans take 20 percent and then you 
should be saving up to 30% depending on your tax bracket. You should be saving that much for taxes. So personally me, I get to play the 50% while the other 50% is like put away. So definitely save for your taxes and definitely keep those receipts for the things that you buy for your OnlyFans so that you don't have to pay that money back at the end of the year. So those are my 11 tips for I guess just tips and tricks to scale up and to get that money on OnlyFans. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any more tips and tricks, make sure you comment it down below. Comment down your OnlyFans because like I said, I do subscribe sometimes. So comment down below your OnlyFans. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what else you would like to see. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Peace. Thanks for joining.